God's Wisdom for a Fair and Just World by Dr. Jim Richards Chapter 16 As we have discovered, all the things Jesus warned would come if we give way to deception are birth pangs. These birth pangs are the strategy of a social upheaval designed to usher us into a world without God. Birth is given to a new world order controlled by the elite. According to Jesus, here's what it would look like. Quote, they will deliver you up to tribulation and kill you, and you will be hated by all nations for my name's sake. And then many will be offended, will betray one another, and will hate one another. Then many false prophets will rise up and deceive many. And because lawlessness will abound, the love of many will grow cold. But he who endures to the end shall be saved. And this gospel of the kingdom will be preached in all the world as a witness to all the nations, and then the end will come. Matthew 24, 9 through 13. A world without God means an amoral world. Corruption replaces work ethic. People succeed not because they work hard and are honest, but because they are shrewd and ruthless. One of the primary things that disappear in the New World Order is love for one another. Love is a value. In the New World Order, love is a weakness. Serving others is not an admirable goal for the elite. Their goal is to have others serve them. The only way to eradicate the knowledge of God from the earth is to eliminate the people who know God. Christians and Jews will be accused of everything imaginable. The compromised church will justify cowardice by readily believing the accusations. Just as it was with the rise of Hitler, the churches that align with the state policy and guidelines will be allowed to continue. What those churches fail to understand is that they will only be allowed to exist until they have served their purpose. I know the average believer refuses to accept this reality, which means they do not believe the words of Jesus. These things are already happening in the world. According to an article in Christianity Today, right now in China, the government is sweeping through provinces. All Christians receiving any kind of state assistance must surrender their Bibles, get rid of all Christian paraphernalia, denounce Jesus as Lord, and acknowledge the head of the Communist Party as Lord. Within my congregation, I have witnessed career military personnel forced out because they refused to denounce Jesus as Lord. This didn't happen yesterday. This occurred in the 1980s and 90s. This has been happening covertly in America for decades. I know you still think this could never happen in America. We refuse to see that the socialists and the elitists are the ones who want to pattern our government after China. They are the ones who have made hidden trade deals with China that have robbed our country of jobs while attempting to crash our economy. They are the globalists who want a one-world government. They are the ones who took prayer out of school and removed all biblical quotes from government buildings. They passed laws protecting murderers, rapists, and thieves while doing nothing for law-abiding citizens. They are the ones inciting riots and chaos in the streets. In the name of fairness, they allow the lawless to burn down houses and businesses of honest, hard-working people. Under the guise of compassion, they release murderers and violent offenders from prison, sending them back to terrorize the same neighborhoods where they committed their crimes. These are the same people who protest and make speeches when police kill a criminal in the act of committing a crime, but never raise their voice for the babies, children, preteens, and other innocents shot down for nothing more than the joy of murder. The beginning of sorrows, i.e. birth pangs, delivers us into the new world order, an elitist society controlled by a one-world government. We can stop this downward spiral, but once the baby is born, it will be too late. It would be easy to think this about political parties and treat this like it has nothing to do with God or faith, 
but nothing is farther from the truth. The first commission given to man from God was to rule and reign. We were to maintain God's justice in the world. Today's injustice is the combination of what the evil makes happen and what the fearful and unbelieving allow to happen. The facts are undeniable. The track record of the socialists and globalists prove their promises are gross lies. They are deceitful tactics to destroy the world as we know it and remake it in their likeness and image. Their version of justice is, quote, We, the elites, are the only one worthy of the world's resources. The inferior must comply with our demands or face elimination. Since all the facts are apparent, why doesn't everyone see it?